The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has always promised groundbreaking discoveries, but no one could have predicted the one it recently made. The telescope and its MIRI instrument have observed artificial light on Proxima b, indicating the presence of technologically advanced life forms. The discovery is nothing short of revolutionary, providing the first real evidence of technological signatures from an intelligent civilization beyond our own, the MIRI instrument, a high-resolution infrared sensor, is particularly sensitive to infrared radiation, making it capable of detecting large artificial light sources from distant planets. This sensitivity allows it to detect the faint lights of distant urban cities and industrial facilities, not only in our neighboring system, Proxima Centauri, but throughout the known universe. The implications of this discovery are staggering. Our new super telescopes, both on Earth and in near Earth space, can now detect vast colonies in the cosmos with relative ease. With this unprecedented capability, we have reached a major milestone with the JWST MIRI spectrograph. And the progress doesn't stop there. In 2028, another super telescope, the extremely large telescope, ELT, will be launched in Chile. This telescope will surpass all its predecessors with a 39-meter primary mirror, allowing it to see deeper and clearer than ever before. These technological innovations are important because our thirst for knowledge about the universe is insatiable. We are only just beginning to explore distant worlds, and instruments like JWST and ELT are essential in our efforts to examine exoplanets for signs of life, the ELT, with its remarkable capabilities, will join JWST in revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. This giant telescope will be able to detect artificial light sources and possible extraterrestrial cities throughout the known universe. Imagine the possibilities, detecting traces of alien airports, giant cities, and other artificial light emissions on distant planets. The prospects are truly amazing and show what we can achieve with our new super telescopes that I in addition to detecting artificial light, we are about to use a new secret weapon in the search for extraterrestrial life. The Advanced Exoplanet Research AR, system will soon allow us to detect traces of vegetation on distant planets. The development of these tools and instruments will continue unabated, bringing us closer to discovering and making contact with other forms of life, the first artificial light source detected on Proxima b is a dream come true for scientists. For the first time, they can use telescopes to observe our neighboring star system with such precision that they can see places where life exists. The artificial light observed on Proxima b indicates the presence of technology and therefore advanced life forms. It sounds almost fantastical, but JWST can even analyze our activities on Earth based on our light signatures. Thanks to good sensors, it can filter traces of artificial light coming from large cities such as New York, Rio de Janeiro or Beijing, distinguishing them from natural light emitted from Earth. This same technology is now applied to Proxima b, allowing us to obtain precise analyzes of life in situ, measure the amount of artificial light produced and assess the level of mechanization of species that we have made a giant leap forward in the search for life in space. One day, we will certainly have the technical means to communicate with other civilizations. Currently, sending a message to Proxima b would take more than four years using conventional methods, and another four years for a response. However, all hopes are pinned on the development of the first quantum computers. Quantum technology, which transcends the limitations of fixed places and times, could revolutionize communication with distant civilizations, allowing for real-time interactions. In 2016, simulations predicted how JWST would study Proxima b's surface, analyzing its thermal and atmospheric properties. These first simulations showed that Proxima b lies within the habitable zone of its parent star, Proxima Centauri. JWST is now making regular, comprehensive observations of Proxima b's day and night sides. The planet is tidally locked, like our moon, always facing the same side to its star, which creates a huge temperature difference between the sides. Without an atmosphere to redistribute heat, the day side would be hot while the night side would remain frozen. The presence of an atmosphere, however, would allow for a more even distribution of heat, something JWST can now study, 
the 2016 simulations also suggested a temperate band between day and night, a potential haven for life. It may seem bizarre to imagine civilizations living on a planet that is always in half-light, half-dark, perhaps concentrated in a narrow habitable band a few thousand miles wide. But these possibilities would broaden our horizons and encourage us to continue searching for other forms of life in space. As of 2016, a precise analysis of Proxima Band Amp, hashtag 039, S atmospheric composition remains a distant dream. Today, JWST provides detailed analytical profiles of worlds sometimes hundreds or even thousands of light years away. The telescope can detect signs of water, carbon dioxide, and methane, and has identified biosignatures on the exoplanet K2 18b. The presence of multiple biosignatures increases the likelihood of life, and the detection of ozone would be a strong indication of biological activity, as it is primarily produced by biological processes. K2 18b, with its biosignatures detected, could be a habitable world, perhaps even an underwater world. However, we have yet to find any traces of artificial light there, suggesting that it could support intelligent life that does not rely on artificial light. This reminds us that not all advanced species can develop technology like us, after all, humans were intelligent and mechanized long before the invention of the light bulb. The main design of JWS Standamp, hashtag 039, S is to observe the universe in the infrared range and perform detailed spectroscopic analyses of distant celestial bodies. Although it has not been proven to be able to detect plant growth on exoplanets, it has the potential to do so. In the search for life, we must consider not only the technical specifications of advanced civilizations but also simpler life forms, such as plants and animals. JWST can provide indirect evidence of plant growth by analyzing atmospheric composition and reflected light spectra, using a technique called vegetation red edge VRE. This method involves detecting spectral signatures produced by the reflectivity of plants in the near-infrared. Although difficult, the capabilities of JWST make these measurements possible, and researchers are continually improving their techniques to find traces of life in space. Direct detection of plant growth or biological activity will require future telescopes and missions specifically designed for this purpose. One such future telescope is the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, Louvoir, which will examine the atmospheric properties of exoplanets with even greater precision and detect potential biosignatures such as VRE spectral lines. Louvoir will isolate and analyze light from exoplanets better than JWST, covering a broader spectrum and performing the more detailed spectral analyses needed to detect plants or biological activity. The extremely large telescope, ELT, still under construction in Chile's Atacama Desert, will soon join JWST in its quest to explore Proxima b scheduled to be operational in 2028. The ELT will be the largest optical and near-infrared telescope in the world. Its 39-meter primary mirror will detect extremely faint signals from distant planets, using adaptive optics to correct for atmospheric distortions for sharper images and more accurate data. The ELT's high resolution and light sensitivity will allow it to perform detailed spectroscopic analyses of the Proxima band's atmosphere, identifying water, carbon dioxide, methane, and other biosignatures. The ELT will also use direct imaging techniques to search for signs of artificial light or surface structures that indicate life or advanced civilizations. Unlike JWST, which focuses primarily on infrared astronomy from its deep space vantage point, ELT, as a ground-based telescope with a larger aperture, will provide higher resolution in the optical and near-infrared ranges. While JWST excels at observing deep infrared sources and exploring the early universe, ELT's broader spectrum will advance exoplanet research. Meanwhile, the Louvre telescope will focus solely on detecting exoplanets and searching for biosignatures, such as measurements of the red edge of vegetation, which could help determine the viability of plants on Proxima b and other distant planets. Another important project is the Habitable Exoplanet Imaging HabEx, mission, designed to capture the first direct images of Earth-like exoplanets and analyze their atmospheres that we live in an age of unprecedented exploration and discovery. JWST has sparked a revolution in space exploration, 
and this momentum continues with the development of new telescopes and technologies. These advances bring us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? In summary, the recent detection of artificial light on Proxima b by JWST's MIRI instrument marks a major milestone in our search for life beyond Earth. This discovery, combined with the upcoming capabilities of ELT, Louvoir, and HabX, moves us toward an exciting future where the detection and analysis of life on distant planets becomes increasingly feasible. As we continue to develop and deploy more sophisticated instruments, our understanding of the universe and our place in it will expand, bringing us closer to unlocking the mysteries of life beyond Earth. The journey has just begun and the possibilities are endless.